In this drill, we are going to be performing the neon belly switch. The neon belly switch is used to move from one side of the CXC to the other side. In a real life situation, when your opponent turns towards you, it sometimes limits your attacks, or you can move from a dominant position to a non-dominant position. This drill will teach you how to move safely from one side to the other. The instability created by the CXT will also challenge your balance. The reason we have put this drill in the first phase of the program is to get you used to how the CXT moves. Balance will be an issue throughout the whole program. It is important you master it as soon as possible. In this drill, we're going to start from the knee on belly position. My knee will be placed on the center of the CXT and my foot will be placed at this crease where the hip meets the body. My shin instep will try and have as close an angle as you can make, achieve by trying to touch your toe to your shin. This helps control the lower body of the CXT or your opponent. My other leg will be outstretched and hands will be placed on the CXT shoulders. This is to give me balance. The first step is I bring my outstretched leg next to my knee. I'll then double windshield wiper, ending on the other side in knee on belly. When I land in knee on belly, it's important the shin instep we just discussed is the first thing which marks the hip. This is a great habit to develop. If you don't develop this habit, you run the risk of ending in quarter guard or half guard. My outstretched leg comes to the middle, I double windshield wiper, and other side knee on belly. Knee next to knee, windshield wiper, shin instep marks the hip. My goal when performing this exercise is that the head or the arms don't touch the floor. My goal is to keep the CXC in a neutral position. This will challenge your balance. An important tip when performing the knee on belly switch is your footwork. Your footwork makes sure your legs stay out of your opponent's half guard or quarter guard. If you can imagine a line going to the roof from where the CXC's legs begin, that's where you want to imagine staying out of. My heels come close to my bum and then I land on the other side knee on belly. My heels come close to my bum land on knee and belly. Heels close to bum, land on knee and belly. You want to avoid getting in the habit of becoming lazy and going through the CXC's legs. Instead, like we just mentioned, there's a barrier from where the CXC's legs begin, and I try and clear that barrier with every rep.